Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top three VIP jobs that you can do 100% solo in a invite only lobby or a solo public lobby. Either way, super easy, very, very quick, and you can make a ton of money doing this. This is not only one of the best methods as a beginner in this game. It's also one of the best methods overall. And this week it's double money for VIP work so you can make a killing effortlessly and get rich in no time at all, all right? So first mission up, you guys know what this is. We're doing Sightseer. Sightseer is one of the three missions that I prefer to do. It's super easy. You don't even have to fire a shot. Really the only downside to doing Sightseer is that it takes literally like two minutes longer than some of the other missions that you can do for VIP work. However, it does pay out at one of the max pay points for time to money ratio. And that is the big thing. I hear a lot of guys, when I talk about VIP work, I hear a lot of people say, oh, do fully loaded, do the um, the armored boxville one or whatever. Listen, those are good, but not only can you not do those in a invite only lobby, they take way too much time there is a something weird with the cooldown timers and those require you to have you know vehicles that cost millions of dollars so there's paywalls behind them with headhunter hostile takeover and sightseer the three top missions that i recommend you guys doing there is zero paywall all you have to have is fifty thousand dollars in your pocket or account okay and you can do that you can get 50 grand literally by doing a couple of missions you know uh almost anything a you can do some races by yourself uh you can do some you know team death matches you can do some contact missions any one of those things and you get those knocked out it's really simple really easy so with headhunter this is how it works okay you start the mission from your vip you get to become a ceo first secure serve or if you're not a ceo you just become you just register as a vip all right and uh once you do that the, the interaction menu and you register as a vip and then you just go and you go to vip work and you select sightseer there are three packages that you have to pick up what i recommend that you do go to the very south or southern part of the city or of the map, wait, you know, down there by the docks or by the airport, launch your sightseer down there. This way, it won't pull you too far north. Now, every now and again, you'll still get pulled up to like Blaine County area. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it because once you start getting set up and established, uh, you'll start doing client jobs and other things. It'll be okay because it'll help out with cooldown timers in the future. But it's real simple. You got three packages you have to pick up, and all you have to do to to get the waypoint for these packages is solve a very easy little puzzle, right? It's a little hack you got to do. It'll be either the numbers or matching up these bars right here, or it'll be something like some kind of weird word that you have to like select. It'll be like breakout or cream pie or I don't know, lockdown, dynamite. I don't know, some kind of dumb word. That you just have to select as they scroll through the screen. I mean, they're so easy. It typically takes roughly five minutes to get this done. Now, I'm using a Mark II, and I, I understand that uh, you know a lot of you guys do not have a Mark II. If you can find a chopper throughout the map, that'll be perfect. A buzzard, uh, something like that, that's fine. You can even use a vehicle. The vehicles, for some reason, the game knows you're using a vehicle, so it, it's still going to take between, I don't know, I'd, I'd say five and maybe eight minutes tops, depending on how far you, but it's really no big deal, and it's highly worth it. For example, one of the best vehicles in the game to do the uh, to do the VIP work, if you do not have a Mark II, would be an Armored Karuma. And right now with double money, in about 15 of these missions, you'll not only have the money to buy an Armored Karuma, uh, you might have a little left over to get a few extra things, maybe some performance features and stuff like that. So, And you can do 15 of these in really no time at all. All right, as you see right there, just got $44,000 for getting that knocked out. All right, next up is Headhunter. Headhunter is uh, a fan favorite. You can get this done. Uh, one of my fastest times is uh, I think like a minute 30 or a minute 40 or something like that. But typically it takes about two and a half minutes. And let me say that one more time. Two and a half minutes to get this done. 
you've got four targets that you have to eliminate. And after you do this about 15 times, you pretty much memorize where these targets are. Two of the targets are driving around in a vehicle, and two of the targets are stationary at a particular location. Okay, With the vehicles, I, I usually just approach them from their 6 o'clock location from the rear. I just throw a couple missiles down there, and then once the guy gets out, you'll see a little red chevron over his head. Then you pop that third missile, and it kills him. Real easy, and you move on. Now, remember, you've only got 20 missiles with your Mark II. So if you do have a terabyte, make sure that every now and again you go back and you reload your missiles up, all right? You want to spend no more than three rockets on the vehicles and one rocket on each target. So if you do this efficiently, that'll be six, seven, eight rockets max. You can get uh, at least two of these done with before you have to reload. Uh, your mark two okay real simple real easy and i've done this live on broadcast without a mark two and the timing is really not that much different you're talking a few extra minutes it's, it's nothing at all all right and remember you don't have to call um lester as soon as you get done with these the cops get off you it's real simple real easy so we're pulling up right here uh this is another i believe it's another vehicle no this is a stationary target yeah 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 and so, you know, again, once you get these, you kind of do these enough, you'll figure out where they're at, where, where they're going to be. This guy is always on this little left side right here, this parking garage. Bam, one missile, he's done, right? And please, notice my timer. You got a 15-minute timer to get these done. I've, it's not even been two minutes yet. In under two minutes, I've completed this, and I'll make over $40,000. Look at that. I mean, crazy. $41,000 for a minute and 57 seconds worth of work. Even if you're only getting 20500 on standard money, that is highly worth it. That's a ridiculous time to money ratio, all right? Now, the last one is going to be hostile takeover. That's the other one that I prefer to do. Now, the only downside with hostile takeover is that you don't make as much money. You make about thirty to thirty one thousand five hundred thirty two thousand, but again, it takes no time at all. All you do with Hostile Takeover, you select a location, you pick your own location of where you want to go to grab the, you know, the briefcase, and then you just drop it off. That's it. I always pick LSIA. It's real simple, real easy to get there. You can plan it and time it out. You fly on down there. You launch a, a rocket at most, one rocket, maybe two, just to get everybody killed. And you don't even have to dismount from your Mark II. You can just hover over the briefcase, select it and run out they give you 30 minutes to get this done <laughs> it's way too much time that's ridiculous um you know i'll trade the 30 minute timer out on this put it to the dune buggies on the bunker and we'll swap out that 15 minute timer on the dune buggies for the bunker and uh bring it back over here on this all right as you see uh take out this guy right here there's the briefcase and you just dip on out. If you die, the only bad thing about the airport is if you die, it'll spawn you kind of far away and you have to kind of run back to it. No big deal. If you don't like that, then you can just go to another area, the altruist camp or something like that. If you just use an armored Karuma, you won't even get shot. If you do, it'll be maybe once or twice. But as you saw right there, it's very easy to go in there, merc those guys out, grab that, uh, that briefcase, and you're flying on down to drop it off. Now, you might want to hang out for a few more minutes. That might tick up your, your money just a little bit. But again, just get it done. Get it knocked out. You'll have a cooldown timer for the next one. Uh, you know, you have a five-minute cooldown timer for all of them. They kind of switched up the uh, the VIP works. Uh, about a couple years ago, they kind of changed how the cooldown timers work, which kind of sucks, but it's all right. You can still do the wave method. You just got to mix it up with something else, like a crate or a client job, and you'll be good to go. But seriously, guys, I mean, it's the weekend right now. You've got tons of time to get this knocked out, to make this money. It's super easy, and you can just absolutely shred this. You can mix these VIP jobs up with other things that you want to do. Import, export, client jobs like I just mentioned, crates, uh, you know, contact missions, robbing gas stations, whatever. You know what I mean? Business battles if you're in a, uh, like a wild public lobby. And again, all these can be done 100% solo. 100% in a invite only or a solo public lobby. You don't have to worry about being grieved or harassed or anything like that. And you're you're just making money. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> make sure you get the right location down. And uh, just drop off the package. You see right here, I mean, again, two and a half minutes, $31,000. Uh, easy. And you know, I, I know there's other good VIP jobs out there. You got the one where you can swim underwater and collect all those. But again, you have to be in a public lobby. You have to spend $100,000 on a 
wetsuit to be more efficient. These are really the best ones. And trust me, it's from someone who's done these a lot. Uh, yeah. So those three right there, Sightseer, Headhunter, and Hostile Takeover can be done 100% solo, 100% uh, in an invite-only lobby or a, a solo public lobby with the most minimum amount of uh, prerequisite content to get these going you all you need to have is 50 racks in the bank and I, honestly the minimum would be a car with bulletproof tires and then you're good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game and yes again smash i mean smush smash that like button and we'll see you in the next one all right peace out yeah